I felt like I went into it very open. I, I've always been very do what I want. I don't care what it, other people think about it. And not that I needed this movie to confirm that for me, but this movie lived that way as well. Do you really need this? Yes. Crushed? Yeah, it's the sickest new dating app. We're gonna do a film of shit. Smile. Wait. Yeah. Um. Mark, this picture is bad. You're an animal. When I started, I had to ask, hey, you wanna swing? Hey, you wanna get naked? <laughs> Did you order from the Thai place or something? No. Hi, Dan. Hey, Haley. Good I'm to see you again. We just talked recently. Yeah, we just, yeah. We, it feels we, like like two weeks ago, but it was not. <laughs> Echo boomers. That's what we talked yeah. about. Yeah, there you go. Ben, now you're joining us. How's it going? How's everything? Great. How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm doing well. I tried. It's okay. I ordered this neon sign with my outlet name from eBay. Clearly, it's not as advertised. So uh, <laughs> just post, put it up. <laughs> Try to at least. So <laughs> the struggle's real. I like, I like, I like that globe you got too oh yeah and of course i was in la for uh you know 10 days I had to go and some my mother came over starts putting stuff up on a globe there's like a christmas <laughs> hat in there this whole place is redecorated in one <laughs> week that i was gone i love it <laughs> well good to see you guys hopefully everyone's tested had all their <laughs> tests done and uh, std test pregnancy test because i've seen it all in the film <laughs> oh yeah we are we're up to date <laughs> love it you know what i'm watching this movie and i'm thinking like i'm starting to doubt my own life i'm like am i not having fun in real life am i like not having an adventurous life because i'm seeing your characters and you guys are just living it up and really uh, going for it in that way I i'm curious when you guys read the script um did you relate to the characters or think like wow that's like a bold version of me or, or like a fantasy version of what I would ever do or would would be hesitant to do well, what's kind of your initial impression of the characters and how you re related to what you would do in real life I'll start with you Ben uh yeah I, I related to both of the characters in different moments you know um I felt like uh that the conversations they were having about what it is they were talking about embarking on this open relationship were really honest and funny and um you know i related to mary's urge to try things differently than our parents did and have an adventurous life and i related to mark's need to have some level of stability and security and also his sense of romanticism he's kind of a romantic i think he like really, really mm -hmm. yeah i got that sense love. um so uh yeah I, I felt like they were both super relatable characters i won't say that i feel like i'm super mark or mary but they both exist inside of me interesting how about you Haley? i feel the same way i've been saying that mary's an unhinged version of myself <laughs> Because at the time when we were shooting it, I felt like I was so much like Mary, but maybe I was just really into the character because when I watched it back, I felt like I'm not that much like Mary. But while we were shooting it, I was very much Mary. Um, but yeah, I think a little bit of both of them resonate with me. More Mary, I think I'm so go with the flow, whatever, do what you want type, but also um a little bit of a hopeless romantic i think mary still is just a little bit yeah i think there, there's a part of it you see i think in a weird way i thought the characters almost like i'm like are they right for each other or are they two different opposites but yes. also they they also hear so they have some commonalities about them that's unique to like a, a couple i found it interesting the dynamics of like oh they're kind of different they maybe shouldn't be together but there are also certain things about them that link them together that maybe others wouldn't even even dare say I, uh, you know, uh, even consider or, or want to even try, have that open-mindedness. I thought that was kind of cool, the dynamics between them, where it makes you wonder, like, oh, are they right for each other? But maybe they are, you know, it's like a back and forth. Yeah. I felt that way too, because I, I really feel like they're not right for each other, but maybe that's why it worked, 
and, and there's a lot of relationships that you maybe have been in or seen friends in that you think that way as well. And I, I definitely mm-hmm. felt that way about this, but um, two very different people can work out, but also maybe shouldn't be together. <laughs> right, which it's is just very real. It's just real life that way. Yeah, and you know, or sometimes like, I feel like relationships are like, you're supposed to be with someone for a certain period of time in your life, you know, like a different phase in your life. And then you kind of outgrow them or maybe they don't fit you anymore. And I felt yeah. like with these characters, maybe they're really good with each other through a certain phase. And then it just kind of ends, you know, and you're different people or need someone different later on. Yeah, I do think that, like what you're saying about they're so different it's true like opposites attract but over time sometimes that cannot work out I do think that for both of them I kind of imagined that you know they were both kind of a different person for them to be with in the sense of like probably Mark had never been with anybody like Mary so Mm -hmm. adventurous and open-minded and edgy and exciting and I don't know if Mary had been with the guy quite as sweet and sensitive and Mm -hmm. wanting to settle down as mark and i can imagine how you know it's often that we want something different than what we have so i can see why they would want to go down that road even further yeah it's a curiosity you know the unknown sort of kind of like the thrill of it maybe too or the lust too the lust and thrill and then you kind of get to know each other and there's that bond but then like you said there's different things down the road that maybe don't work Uh, you know i was i was wondering is was mary into the porn stash was that the initial attraction uh and mark is that was the selling point (laughs) initially to for the attraction was me oh into the porn stash yeah you know (laughs) i feel like god was she i'm trying i'm thinking of their their first interaction at that convenience store right i mean it definitely it definitely catches your eye certainly you know, stood out through the porn stash that's real love <laughs> ben was that your idea or how did i thought it was awesome <laughs> thank you it was not my idea it was written in the script uh-huh. and um you rocked it, i then. was a little nervous about it <laughs> because I had never uh, grown out my mustache really before, so I had no idea what it was going to look like. But I was rather pleased. I thought I, it accentuated the inventor side of Mark. I was feeling a little bit like, yeah, you know, he's probably looking at his Albert Einstein poster in his college dorm thinking, hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You got to have confidence to rock that too, you know? So it's like a strong stash there too. And and he was crushing it on crushed, right? So, I mean, it seems like it was working. Everyone was swiping on him. (laughs) You know, I like how, do a little spoiler alert here. Um, I like how kind of ambiguous the end is, you know, because life is ambiguous and relationships are ambiguous in itself. You know, there's no finality to the sort of things. We just keep on, you know, living our life. How did you guys envision these characters moving forward, kind of maybe another year down the road or two individually? What did you kind of foresee for them? I'm sure you had some kind of idea or at least thought or want for them. How about you, Ben? I'll start with you on that one. Um, I think that, you know, I think this relationship is probably like the most formative relationship for both of them up until this point romantically. And that, you know, there's a period of mourning that happens when things come to a close, but I think there's a lot of growth that can come after that. And so I think that Mark learned a lot from Mary, a lot of important lessons about himself that, you know, the world doesn't have to be everything that your parents tell you it's going to be and that you can try things your own way and that he's capable of doing things that he didn't know he could do so down the road I I kind of see him being able to take some of that um uh some of those lessons that he learned in opening up their relationships and maybe being you know a little less uh I guess the word is like needing to, it's like not needing to have stability as much in his life, Hmm. being more open to the chaos of the world. And hopefully that would bring him more into the world. Yeah. So sort of the part of Mary stayed in him, you know, for the future, I guess, you know, that experience. I like that. Yeah. I don't think he left it being like, oh, I want to, you know, 
I don't think that a year from now he's thinking back about this relationship as something that like messed his life up. I think hmm. quite the opposite. I like that. What about you, Haley? Where do you think Mary ends up down the road? I think there's a relationship in your life where you learn what you want in a partner long term. And I think this is that relationship for Mary. Mm. But I think she's still making music. She's doing her VO. But I think she's a little more, she has a little, she has it a little more dialed in what she wants in a in a partner. But thanks to Mark. Yeah, you see, you grow. That's what I mean. That's that impactful kind of relationship or lasting thing in part of your life that carries through, even you might not be with that person. I like that. What did you guys learn about dating, doing this movie, about dating relationships, uh, et cetera, you know, about your own lives by doing these characters or anything kind of stood out or or made you kind of think twice about certain things? Uh, Is there anything you took, you guys will take away going forward from these characters? I felt like I went into it very open. I, I've always been very do what I want. I don't care what it, other people think about it. And not that I needed this movie to confirm that for me, but this movie lived that way as well. So I left it with my opinion stronger because it felt like, yeah, that's right. We can do whatever we want as long as everyone's cool with it. You want to be in another relationship? Sure. You want to do this? Great. Anything you want to do, it's your world. You can do, you can live it however you want. It's as long as everyone's down, do whatever you want to do. Felt that way before, feel that way now. Yeah. I I definitely felt like, uh, like some interesting stuff I kind of came across or felt like there was a theme in it. I've never been in an open relationship, still haven't. But I did try and talk to people uh, and, you know, read interviews and do all that kind of thing to try and understand what that might be like for people. And something that I took from it that I thought was kind of interesting was, you know, open relationships can work for some people. Uh, most of the research I've done suggests that it may not be like the kind of thing like of for like a lifetime partnership. Mm-hmm. Um, but that said it can be the best part of a relationship for some people i talked to it was like yeah we didn't end up staying together but when we were open that was like kind of the most fun part of the whole story of our relationship so that you know um and that like you really shouldn't be scared to have these conversations a lot of the movie a lot of what drew me to the movie was that it's like talking about sex and stuff yeah and it doesn't make it taboo you know like i feel like this movie 10 years ago would have been like oh wow you know like it would have been so taboo some different rating or something but this is kind of normal i mean i'm dating around i'm swiping and it's like you're not faced by these things anymore you know when you hear or see them it's kind of normal and it's cool to actually see a movie acknowledge that and it's like yeah it's part of our culture and society now you know it's kind of normal it's not as crazy or taboo, just the way people are more open with themselves and about sex, you know, uh, in that way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I the way that, that um, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say that like normal is a good word for it. I think that's part of what attracted me to the script and, and what I really like about the movie when I watch it is that it's not saying, look at this crazy thing that no one tries that you should try or and then it'll fix your relationship or it'll make it worse or this or that. It's just kind of, this is the way a lot of relationships work these days. And I feel yeah. like it's just honestly showing that. And just think about the evolution of online dating. When it first started, was it was like taboo. and Oh, yeah. You're online, but now it is, you, you just pick up your phone and, you know, everybody, everybody is doing it. It is so common that it's not, people were shy to say that they were online dating. And now it's, I have friends that are married to people they've met on Tinder. They've been dating them for six, seven years. It's it, especially in a, a time where we're very much attached to social media and our phones. It's, it's the way, it's a very common way to meet people. It really is. Especially like I always talk to my friends, like, you know, how am I, I'm not in college anymore. You know, I, 
don't necessarily go to bars all the time. It's kind of like almost the number one way method of meeting someone. Mm -hmm. People are busy with lives and work too. It's hard to date, you know, in general, but I feel like it kind of gives you that opportunity that some might not have, you know, if it was like more traditional ways, although you have to weed out a lot of crazies online. So that's yes. one thing to keep out. I bet. And, you know, I, I like the lessons this movie tells you too, you know, you do things responsibly because, because there's repercussions for things too. You know, I, I like that aspect of it that, Hey, it, it, the fun is fun, but also you got to be mindful because fun can turn not so fun when you're not being responsible about it totally. absolutely that's real yeah. life yeah in a lot of real life you know I, I think i think people who watch this will certainly have one or two experiences where they're like yeah i can relate to that you know whether it's like you have that rush to go to the doctor to get something checked out you know i've had that before you know thankfully all comes out good but <laughs> you learn from things like in life i feel like it's such a this movie and these characters are so true to life and people you can relate to and they're not far-fetched you know they're very real in that sense with flaws and all sorts of things you know good things about them and not and you guys really made him come to life so uh I, I, it made me wonder too when you got watching you guys on screen did you guys know each other prior because i thought the chemistry was really cool and awesome like i believe these are two real people that kind of would know each other did you guys how, how did you make this chemistry work basically we're actors we, <laughs> we're actors. we didn't know each other but wow. it was we met and we just got along. It's lucky because, you know, you work with people you don't like sometimes and that is rough. And especially when you are supposed to look like you like them. And I just feel like we're so lucky that we all loved each other. Hannah, me and Ben and every, we just all clicked. We're so lucky and everybody had the same goal and loved this movie. And I think it shows. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, yeah, we were, we were lucky and Hannah had some smart director brain go, action going on when she just put us together in her head. And also, I, I will say another thing is her writing is so good. It has this rhythm to it that even accentuates the chemistry at times, too, I think, uh, which is cool. And that's a hard thing to achieve, I think. But I think no question. Hey, I'm, I'm glad it was you two, because I think if you swapped one of you out, this movie would have been different, you know, in so many <laughs> ways. So uh, you guys made it work. I, I thought it was a great story, you made it relatable. And uh, it was it was fun. And and there's obviously some, uh, you know, moments of, of uh, fright, too, you know, but that's that's real life. So uh, awesome to talk to you, Ben Haley. Great to catch up with you again and hope yeah, we nice talk in the next one. We will. Yeah. Take care, guys. Talk soon. Great Bye. job. Bye.